Hello, good morning, everybody. Now, first, we are opening prayer book, page number one. Page number one. Da la da zebe da da va zebe ge. Tar ba da dan je je ba bar da jo ba zebe. Dan je je zo zebe ma nam ka da nyab. Sem je dan je be va dan de dong ha dan tar. Yerda la na ne ba ya da ba zo ba za. Ye do ba za da la da wa se ba da. Do ba se ba ga da ba da da je je. Ba da ju ba se ba da je je zo se ba. Ma nam ka da nyan da zem je dan je de wa da de do ma da cha. La na ne ba yan da ba zo ba za nyo ram ba to ba za. One more English. All mother sentient beings, limitless as space, especially those enemies who hate me, obstructors who harm me, those who create obstacles on my path to liberation and omniscience. May they experience happiness, be free from suffering swiftly. May they attain precious, unsurpassed, perfectly complete and light. <laughs> For that purpose, until I attain Buddhahood, I will apply my body, speech, and mind to virtue. Until death, I will apply my body, speech, and mind to virtue. From today until this time tomorrow, I will apply my body, speech, and mind to virtue. Oh, San Jun and Bon Jeje, San Jen and La Chop Sunje, Chudan San Jos and Boy, so like the Jen Chop Sunje, Chudan and Jen, San Jos and Jebada, San Jos and Bella, Nebada. Devgyen do la pendan da san joy san na je je ge. Devgyen da na la ba la. Ren vai gyen da la ba je. San joy ne ba je je ba. San je na la ja san je. Che da san joy san. Sulaan degi jazan je, je darang je degi je, sanjo dhane je vada, sanjo sanba la vada, de darang je ne vada, degi do la bandanda, sanjo sanba je je ke, degi dhane la vada, rambai ke, Take refuge in the Buddhas until I attain the essence of awakening. Likewise, I take refuge in the Dharma and in the assembly of the Bodhisattvas. Just as the Buddhas of the past gave rise to Bodhicitta and progressed along the Bodhisattva's path, so shall I give rise to Bodhicitta for the benefit of all beings and practice the stages of the Bodhisattva's path. Oh. Sanjay, 
Until awakening, I take refuge in the Buddha, Dharma, and Supreme Assembly. By the merit of generosity and other good deeds, may I attain Buddhahood for the benefit of all beings. sentient beings limitless as space have happiness and the causes of happiness may they be free from suffering and the causes of suffering may they not be separated from the happiness that is free from sorrow may they rest in equanimity free from attachment and aversion okay mandala over oh, Ramjang an infinite array of worlds, each with four continents and the wealth of infinite oceans of realms. If I bring them all to mind and offer them without exception, please hold with compassion all the beings they contain. My body, enjoyments, and whatever I own, my aggregates, elements, and sense sources, my aspirations now and in times to come, as well as everything I grasp as mine. By offering them all, may I be blessed with the end of self-grasping. Completely liberated from the bounds of real and unreal, transcending the names and concepts of arising, cessation and abiding, coming and going, affirmation and denial, the supreme mandala is the natural state. By offering it, may I be blessed to attain the state of Buddhahood. and existence, I offer all appearance and existence arisen as the primordial ground. I supplicate you, 
May the three realms be completely liberated. Please grant blessings to empty samsara from its depths. Lord, with five omniscient wisdoms, crown ornament, kind one with loving nature, precious protector of beings, heart of all Buddhas, inexpressible by words or thought, I supplicate you from the core of my mind. Bless me from within the state of dharmata. Bless me to realize this mind primordially pure and unborn as the unfathomable dharmakaya. Please turn the wheel of the Dharma of the greater and lesser vehicles and the teachings common to both according to the dispositions and mental capacities of sentient beings. Okay. Drupapola, Chujin, the Badang, Turan, the Betin, Rogaimba. Hamdia, Chancho, Lam Languin, the Benyam, Chancho, Sam Lagus, Gordon, Chamantelona, Rodang, Mamagambo, Harden, Jitin, Gong, Cardis, and Dinsava, Lameja. Sajula, Maya, Danjus, on the Sturan, the Soda, Jus, and Jalo, Shomi, Jujan, Japoran, some Sanje, Kunjang, or Sam Jugong, or Santan Tepe. Savala Mesha Blas or Vande, Sism Dunhat and Rachi, and Jenya Tome Ponjava Jula, so Sim Jinsun and Yota Dantina. Amba Nam Jenim Tatar Doso, Chila de Josova, tap into your Daso Kanda Nepa Sason. Name Sum Mugi Karpa Jinjin, a Chudan Trajim Pavan de Doso, Dason Rovalona, Chula Jonelo, Jula Jevaras Angel. Hola, um, Ah, and so uh, here, um, uh, 
Uh, Rinpoche is very is really pleased to be here again um, with all of you at Dragung Seattle Center um, and also to be um, coming together to practice again this um, this practice of um, glorious uh, the glorious transcendent conqueror Vajrasapa. Um, and it isn't just the people uh, here in the room, um, but to all of you here in the room who are in, like Nirmanakaya emanations appearing here in person. Uh, and then also everyone who is online, who is joining us from far and wide um, over the internet online, uh, who are appearing, um, showing up like some Bogakaya emanations, um, who even though you're not here in person, you are still appearing in an ephemeral form as some Bogakaya emanations. Uh, and uh, meanwhile, also there pervades um, the ultimate uh, Kaya, or which is the Dharma Kaya, uh, pervading all. And so to all of you um, who are um, all over in different countries, and also those of you here in person, um, he um, gives you a warm Tashi Delek uh, from within the state of the three times, uh, the state of the three times, because um, everyone is at, uh, like in different time zones, some people, for some people, it is morning, for some people, it is evening, uh, for some people, it is afternoon. Uh, and so we also have a collection of the three times um, here, you know, or together um, in this moment. Okay. Last one. That day in the um, Sangha can yam nila wang ti long sum ting du karsang. That's on my member, member as yak wang samote or simbari. That day in the digitala mother one towards it the cheap damba samote. Uh, and so, uh, as that is the case, so in the context of uh, the practice of secret mantra, uh, there always need to be um, the three aspects of empowerment, transmission, and teaching. And so yesterday, uh, we all received the empowerment, um, the the ripening empowerment, which ripens um, the mind streams of those um, who have up until that point or not yet been ripened. Uh, so the ripening empowerment and also um, the liberating teachings, which liberate those uh, who have not yet been liberated. And so today, um, having received the empowerment, then today uh, we also begin uh, with the receiving receiving the teachings. Um, and so then in the practice of uh, sublime um, Dharma, profound, uh, the profound Dharma practice of Dharma, we have, um, you know, the approach and accomplishment uh, of the generation stage. Uh, and whenever we practice any Dharma practice, it is important to have um, both the 
motivation, the proper motivation, um, and also uh, the proper conduct uh, or the activities. Um, you know, we and with regard to the proper conduct, then we have to identify um, what it is appropriate to adopt and what is appropriate to discard. Um, and so, as Lord Hejik Din um is known for having said that um, the preliminaries are even more profound than the main practice, the actual practice, um, then uh, he will begin first by uh, discussing the preliminaries. Uh, but also you have all, um, and, um, doubtlessly, you have, without doubt, you have heard um, many explanations on the preliminaries. There's also a lot um, out there available on the internet. Um, and so it is, since it is widely accessible and many of you are already familiar familiar, um, he will uh, um, just go through those um, in an abbreviated way. Uh, and so, um, first, the the first of the things that are um, the conduct that it is necessary to abandon or avoid um, are um, can be understood as the three faults of the vase. Um, so the three faults of the vase, particularly in terms of listening to the Dharma teaching, uh, is to avoid listening um, like a vase um, that is overturned. Um, and so that means uh, that you you aren't actually really listening. Um, there, there's no way that anything can go inside because the vase is overturned. Um, and the second fault is to listen like a vase that has a crack in it. Um, so that even though you might be listening, um, there is no, you're not retaining anything. So whatever it is that is poured in, um, just seeps out through the crack. Um, and the third fault of the base is to listen to the teachings with a mind that is afflicted. Um, and that is like um, being like a vase that has poison in it, uh, so that whatever it is that is poured in becomes contaminated. <laughs> Chiron <laughs> And so then the second thing to be abandoned or avoided uh, while listening to the Dharma teachings are the six stains. Um, so as it says in the, um, in the intrinsic um, uh, awareness of a consciousness, uh, the uh, to be to have to listen with pride or arrogance, uh, to listen without any faith, um, to listen without being interested or not without having any interest, uh, to listen with your mind um, distracted uh, and wandering outside. Um, and to listen uh, in, you know, kind of withdrawn inwardly in a um, state of boredom, uh, or to listen with um, 
like a, a de- kind of in a depressed uh, state of mind um, or with sadness, uh, these are the six stains to be avoided. Well, Zinna, <laughs> ロテニダワンカヒジルンロテニエクセタンプモドヤンヤンチャスロジャゴドうんオテニコモノンジンソナタチャンドスマスヤネティハマテナパテロパンジンバスロパンジンバスデュペナアカレシサンジェメンラド
really important in the context of secret mantra. Uh, so the first way of misunderstanding is to um, to understand uh, the words, but to misunderstand the meaning, or to not um, to retain the words, but not to retain the meaning. Uh, and then the second way of so this is uh, this is really not okay because um, there are some who maybe they listen to the Dharma and they really have a firm grasp on uh, all of the words, uh, but they they, they miss the profound meaning. And so it's important to, to, um, to both retain the words, but also to understand the meaning. And then there are some who maybe retain the meaning, but they don't retain the words. Um, so they might think, oh, it's really the profound meaning that is important. I can just kind of um, not pay attention or cast aside um, these detail, the details of the words. Um, but this is also not appropriate because it's to really accurately understand the meaning, you, it's also important to depend upon or understand the words. Um, and then the third way of misunderstanding is to sort of miss the mark, um, meaning that uh, there isn't a real clarity um, with regard to the crucial point. So for instance, the Buddha uh, teaches both the provisional meaning or the expedient meaning and the definitive meaning. Um, and so to not uh, really um, um, hit the mark when it comes to understanding um, the relationship between the words and the meaning um, as it pertains to these two types of meaning, the provisional and the definitive. Um, and then the fourth way of misunderstanding is to get the order mixed up. Um, so to not go in the correct order. Uh, and so this is also very important because in order to really understand things, it has to be, um, you know, one has to study in the progressive order, you know, first to understand the next level, the first level has to be well understood. And so the example that Rinpoche gave is that, you know, when he was in Germany, uh, and he first started uh, studying there, and he didn't know any German, he didn't know any English, um, he had barely just learned his ABCs and he started off in the third level German class. Um, but because he hadn't um, developed the um, knowledge, you know, by first going in progressive order, first class, second class, and third class, um, he ended up having to um, drop out of that class and start all over again. Uh, and so this is what happens if we don't go in progressive order. Um, and then uh, the fifth uh, way of misunderstanding is to um, have um, like improper understanding or uh, an actual like wrong understanding. And so an example of this would be, uh, for instance, with the image of the deity Manjushri, uh, who is holding in one hand, he is holding a volume of scripture, and in the other hand, he is uh, holding a sword. Um, and so it holding the volume of scripture, you know, which represents um, all of the 84,000 categories of the Buddhist teachings, um, this is what this represents. Um, but it doesn't mean that Manjushri, for instance, goes to school. Um, and on the other hand, you know, he has this um, sword in his hand. If that, that represents um, wisdom, and so um, if that is a misunderstood and the thought is that, you know, he, uh, Manjushri is um, going to battle and he wields his sword um, in a, a, some, a way, you know, that, that has something to do with war or fighting, um, then obviously this would be a wrong understanding. Mm -hmm. oh. Nipatala, <laughs> Nipa, 
Tangpe, Parent to Patawa, Chantan to so log with the parts and take the Zab Zab Sigur. Yantosa and it of Yana Park, touching with Lad, Taranitona, Lok the Papal Mazora, or the end of the Zab Zab Sig. Contani Patti Comason. Tangba, Chantans in Hagoyo. Hm. Lok, Lok Hagora. Mhm. Oh, the Lok and the part part of the capsule. ペーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザーザ
Um, okay. Uh, so then the other thing that should be taken up is um, the um, accompaniment of the six uh, transcendent perfections, the six paramitas. Um, so that means whatever dharma activities that you're engaging in, whether study, contemplation, or meditation, that these activities should be united with the six uh, perfections, uh, the perfection of generosity, the perfection of ethical discipline, the perfection of of patience, the perfection of diligence, the perfection of meditative concentration, and the perfection of wisdom. Voilà. Ça te dit là, de chier, 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 Chu And so then uh, also you should um, uh, practice uh, like um, with the four um, types of perception or the four perceptions. Uh, so the first perception being, you know, the perception of oneself as an, a patient uh, who is afflicted by illness. Um, so essentially the, the patient, the student who is afflicted by the illness of the afflictive emotions. And then the, um, the, the, the dharma is like the medicine um, because the dharma is extremely uh, powerful and profound and has um, the power to completely cure us of our um, delusion and uh, affliction. Uh, and so then we also rely on the lama or the spiritual teacher, like with the perception of a skilled doctor. Um, and then uh, as we practice um, the, the, the Dharma continuously, um, then it becomes the means through which uh, one achieves liberation and awakening. Um, so it is exactly like this example of uh, these four perceptions that uh, if you have the, um, the view of the of the Lama is the doctor, um, and the Lama pre prescribes the perfect uh, medicine, the perfect course of treatment, the practice. Um, and it is uh, the taking um, that medicine or engaging in um, the activities that are prescribed um, that leads to recovery. Um, and then uh, in doing just as the doctor says, then eventually you become a fully healed of your illness. Well, that than the she yes, yeah, the grass of pen suits and marais, the Nubonga, so the new you. Pena, ah, not so lucky. That purple can mean and mean summer, Lord Duyana, means or me, not a summer, so Lord Duyana, long, cheaper, begins the sum doa. That take a la, new monk and dressona, then in the chat here down the most, then the long term the chat and dress. Chipa <laughs> And this is actually also literal. It can be taken literally. It's not just um, like a metaphor or an example. Um, and the reason for this is because um, if you look at illness, for instance, from the perspective of Tibetan medicine, um, all illnesses can be subsumed into the three types of imbalances, uh, the imbalance of wind, 
um, or lung, the imbalance of bile um, or tripa, and the imbalance of phlegm or bacon. Um, and so these are also very much connected with the three poisons. Um, and so the um, the imbalance of wind uh, is often stimulated or is because of an excess of desire um, or is caused by desire. The imbalance of um, of bile is caused often by an excess of anger. Um, an imbalance of phlegm is caused often by an excess of ignorance. And so in that way, actually, these physical, the physical ailments of the body are um, are propelled by or created by um, the afflictive emotions of the three poisons. And so since the only medicine that can actually cure the illness of the three poisons is the Dharma, um, then that is really, it is the Dharma that um, is the root of um, curing this illness. Uh, so when it, it's mainly in reliance upon Dharma that we can become cured, there's nothing else that can cure of the afflictive emotions. Um, and so when the afflictive emotions are cured, this also has the effect of healing the body. Gerpa soso rangti boxena. That is something young. Yes. Um, and so then also um the another conduct that is important to establishes the conduct of the three excellences, what is referred to in the Nigma tradition is the three excellent or excellences or the three, yeah, the three excellences. Um, and then uh, in the uh, Kagyu tradition, it's um, uh, referred to as the three seals of the um, outset, the main practice and conclusion. Um, and so this is important uh, regardless of the situation or the Dharma that you are practicing, um, you know, whether um, abbreviated or extensive, uh, whether in a group or individually, whether there are a lot of people or few people, um, it's always important, regardless of whether you're meeting uh, together and practicing in a group, or if you are doing practice on your own individually, um, that you always seal your practice with the three excellences. <laughs> Care sena, Tambo gave a carrot drum. Tambo, the top ninja chamber, the same basiba. Ella Jova, same jit and ball. And the Joban Jin Sung, the Tipa Chichung Chipper, same jeans. So so rang Tipa Chamber, Tang Tipa Chung, ye mean the so 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 hako gores. Thanks in a lumbar down the knee, gumpa that the so chipola and jia yomare. So so can the so so gores. Uh, and so the first of these three excellences is to have um, the pure motivation of bodhicitta at the outset. Um, and so that means that whatever virtue you are engaging in is so important first uh, to do so or to practice um, generating the method of great compassion, um, cultivating bodhicitta. And so as Lord Jigden Sumgan says, um, that which distinguishes between the greater and lesser vehicles is the mind of bodhicitta. Um, and so that is something for the individual to know whether the bodhicitta is present or not. Um, it isn't something that can be determined based on, you know, place or monastery, um, but really it is something for each individual to assess um, in their own mind stream and to determine whether one's practice actually um, becomes the practice of the great vehicle or the lesser vehicle. Adela. Jatsap Jampan Gumbo Careson is in a same cheap and yin don't sir, Yanda Zobosan John Dues, same cheer the yin to a cheer and the December Zambo, take it, and it's also Sanje Compound Toyak, so Sam, Sonam Sajes, Penas, 
เอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อ
Tati kuno de caregorisina Nam ke car chap, same ginge charms. Same ginge car chap. In the letter, now a dunga chap de res. Tati dunga chap in Roa Majan and Tadanya, the same gin, Tamji. In Pama Mazeba, your mares. Pama Seba goes to Tata Pama Nai, Ambo Luchi, Nipa to the source. Any lang the routine. A long two roba caragona tamate. Any sake, two tambo omate. Two tambo sharp pagua. Then jambo de la jario. Then the door in the shinder. Ipara jamatin sin pama ten so case. Deba the caracina. Devari. Manduba the dunghari. Then deba the manduba samjipo. Obiata, mendra yomares. Then do. Any Conan took a semen and doyata, laque legacy, any single law to song, but the solar pair, Ningle Jess in a certain Mohindi Jindu, and my pass in the solar. Ingi, Congress. And so then, uh, first, um, with the first seal, it's necessary to generate a really vast um, mind state, um, one that is a motivation that embraces all mother sentient beings as vast as space. And so, as is said, um, as vast as space is vast, or wherever there is space, there are sentient beings. Uh, and wherever there are sentient beings, there is karma and suffering. Um, and so of all of those sentient beings, um, there is not a single sentient being who has not at one point in time or another been our own kind mother or father. Um, and at that time when they were our parents, um, they looked after us, they took care of us, um, they sacrificed so much for us, giving, they gave us our own body, our own life. Um, and then once we were born, um, they sustained us, they nurtured us, they looked after us. Um, and then they taught us, you know, what to, um, what to to adopt and what to discard, you know, how to be in the world. Um, our mother, you know, from the moment that we were born first, you know, from we it, sacrificing her own body for the sake of our existence or giving her own life force, her own body, flesh and blood for the sake of our existence. And then um, giving birth to us, then she fed us, gave us milk, um, gave us food, um, did so much um, to kindly look after us and take care of us. Us. Um, and so all of our mother sentient beings are in this situation where, of course, um, all beings, what they desire is happiness and all beings, what they desire to avoid is suffering. Um, and so um, even though they desire happiness and they don't want suffering, their actions are in contradiction to this. So even though that is their wish, again and again, they create the causes um, that destroy their own happiness and only uh, create suffering. And so witnessing that, the only appropriate response is compassion. And so it is in that way that we meditate on compassion. Oh, <laughs> Uh, but, of course, compassion alone isn't sufficient um, because we also have to have the mind of wisdom um, that is directed toward um, complete awakening. Um, so first, there's great compassion there, and that great compassion then longs to bring all sentient beings to establish them in the state of fully perfected, complete awakening. Um, and so there have to be these two aspects, the compassion, which is directed towards sentient beings, and the wisdom which is directed toward awakening. Well, 
Um, and so as uh, that is uh, the case, then um, as we generate um, bodhicitta directed toward uh, sentient beings, um, then uh, um, they all sentient beings who do not recognize um, the true nature of how things actually are in reality um, because they are temporarily obscured. Um, their, um, their wisdom is obscured by the two types of ignorance, um, the two obscurations of the uh, co-emergent ignorance, uh, which is the mind of duality um, that uh, splits into concepts of self and others, and the imputing um, ignorance or imputing unawareness. Um, and so uh, as the minds and bodies of sentient beings are obscured or um, defiled by these um, two types of obscurations, uh, then in order to clear away those obscurations, it is with that motivation in mind uh, that then we engage in the practice of the profound dharma as has been brought to us or um, taught by the Buddha who taught the 84,000 different categories of dharma um, and within those in particular the profound practices of the fruitional vehicle of secret mantra, Vajrayana um, and within that uh, we have this a practice in particular that has arisen, the practice of Vajrasapa. Um, and so thinking it is with this intention to bring all sentient beings to purify the obscurations and defilements of all sentient beings and to bring them to the state of awakening, it's with that motivation in mind that I shall engage in the practice of Vajrasapa. <laughs> Uh, and so then um, in Secret Mantra Vajrayana, there are the two categories also of Kama and Terma, um, or the oral and treasure traditions. And so this particular practice uh, belongs to the Terma tradition. It is a Terma or a treasure um, tradition practice. <laughs> Sangma Needs <laughs> Um, 
And so um, as we practice, um, as it, it, Lord Jigden Sumgun says, um, we must uh, incite our body, speech, and mind uh, toward virtue or motivate our body, speech, and mind toward virtue. And so that is the, as that is the case, we need to establish um, the purity of the three doors. So we don't want to have um, kind of the impurity um, or, um, you know, a, a, a lack of, of um, cleanliness, uh, but we want to have the purity of the three doors. And so that means first establishing the ab abiding of the body, the proper abiding of the body. And the way to do this is by sitting in the proper posture, um, which is the seven point posture of Virochana. Uh, so we could go into great detail here, but um, instead, just to keep it brief, um, the main thing is uh, to be seated in the Vajra posture and to have um, the spine be completely straight. Um, so to align the body in a way that is uh, straight or erect. Um, because when the, the body is straight, then the channels are straight. Um, and when the channels are straight, then the winds can move um, freely or appropriately. And when the winds can move freely, then the mind can remain clear. Uh, and so there is a great uh, auspicious um, connection of interdependence uh, between the mind and the body. Uh, so when the proper posture is assumed with the body, um, this creates naturally conditions for a realization to arise in the mind. Uh, and so we begin first by sitting in the uh, seven point posture with by establishing, you know, the crossing your legs in the Vajra posture. Na Yachasarasara, <laughs> ตัวเมตเพนโดเตนุสุจินาตุกาจินบอเจตตาตาอนะเพนโดเอสเตนดาลุคราณะอกุงตาอืมเอ็มทีดิกีอ่าเรมโปเชคุซุอ่าโลก
uh, analyzed by a doctor. So they, there was a doctor that they saw and the doctor um, checked all of Rinpoche's, like his body, his, um, you know, his, his bones. And the, the doctor was really amazed because Rinpoche is, you know, in his eighties, but he said he really actually has like the body of, um, you know, like a young guy, a young, um, you know, uh, adult, a young guy. Uh, and this is, and that he's, it's amazing how he's able to sit, you know, in the posture so straight, you know, in the, um, with the, in the Vajra position. Uh, and then when the MG, the doctor, um, analyzed uh, Lama Tsering, he said, oh, you're not like a young guy at all. You're like an old man. Do you have the body of an old man? Um, and so this was, you know, interesting because, of course, Lama Tsering, when compared to Rinpoche, you know, he's much younger. He is, he should be the one who is more like a young man. Ah. Oh, uh, so he told him you really better... You better watch out. You should be more careful because you're not um, like uh, your health is not like that of a young guy anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm both so young. Uh, and so then, so we need to establish the proper abode of the body, then also the proper abode of the speech and mind. So right now, you know, we don't have so much time. So maybe tomorrow, um, he'll go into the abode of the body, uh, the speech and, and mind. Uh, ボリュームを取る。で、セムネットのコロンキューバ。コロンキューバ Rotong ya and so uh then it is you know as um so so we the mind the abode of the mind is that the mind should be turned inward um and we should really um conjure the proper motivation um, making our motivation as vast as we possibly can so it is said you know that first we should give up or abandon um, the attitude of a king um, and so that means if you think about a king of course there are good kings and bad kings and some of the good kings would be more focused on their subjects and the bad kings would not be focused on their subjects at all they would only be thinking um, of their own um, their own benefit um, but the the motivation which is like a king that is striving you know to achieve um, the results of awakening uh, for oneself um, first and then to lead sentient beings 
um, that that um, attitude of the king should be abandoned. Um, and then the attitude of the captain, the captain of the ship, um, should be improved upon. It should be um, kind of a, transformed um, and because the attitude of a captain of a ship is a focused on, um, you know, steering, uh, for instance, with the example of steering the ship with a boat full of people so that um, all travel to the state of awakening together, um, which is a good and okay motivation. But in the great vehicle, we want our motivation to be even um, more vast and expansive, even um, more profound than that. Uh, so we should strive to actually have the motivation of a good shepherd, um, a good shepherd who rises, you know, early in the morning um, and is really thinking of the welfare of his yak or sheep. Uh, and so he finds, you know, the best spot where the grass is the most plentiful for them to munch on, where there is plenty of space um, and where they are um, safe from the danger of, you know, being eaten by other wild animals. Um, and then the shepherd sits back. And the whole time he is always aware of where all of his sheep are so he can see them, you know, with a, with um, the full scope of his view. Um, he, he always has his eye on all of the sheep. Um, so it, this is like the example of a good shepherd. A bad shepherd, um, uh, Lamala said, like when he was a child, um, he had to look after the animals. So sometimes he would be, you know, he would be sent out with his flock, um, but then he would go, you know, to some place where his parents couldn't see him. Uh, and then he would like play, you know, he was a little, he would just play games and, uh, and then sometimes not be watching after his sheep all the time. And then, you know, it's possible that they could get eaten by a wild animal, um, um, in that situation. So you don't want to be a shepherd like like his example of be, when he was a shepherd, uh, but uh, like a good shepherd that is really um, watching over um, their flock uh, to have this kind of motivation that is really completely and utterly um, concerned only with the welfare of others. Well, that's it. ตามนี้ชามะละแมงเลยเนี่ยดูตะเรซอนเส้นลังกะขี้ปกันโดนนะแมงตะตอกปะมันเจนันจิกิ้นทําจิมมงปะเลยเจอเตเวตเตนปะ
Manjorba, Mashekpa, Demba, Sarwa, Demba. Magyar, Mashek, Mashekpa. Mashekpa, Demba. Demba. Sawa. Sawa. Demba. Demba. Ne toba mi ba. Mm-hmm. Oh, then the doji chip den, you know, then the pony ke doji es. Nambo den dekhe jagya na? Uh, so first we have the title, um, and so this is, that was in relation to the title or the label of the, um, of the sadhana, the practice. So it is the sadhana of the single mudra bhadrasapra from the cycle of the secret uh, bindu heart, actually. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so the title um, is the yeah the sadhana of the single mudra vadrasapa from the cycle of the secret bindu heart uh, and so this is the terma text discovered by the treasure revealer um Jojur Lingpa. um and so in the title actually the entire meaning of the practice is complete um so first the first um we have dorje simba which is vadrasapa and actually the meaning is complete even within that so so Dorje being Vadra, uh, so this is the Vadra of emptiness. Um, so the, the emptiness, which is uh, without any change, um, it is the, na the changeless nature, the Vadra emptiness. Uh, and so the Vadra uh, has the seven, um, is endowed with the seven dharmas, uh, which are, it is uh, unchanging, it is indestructible, it is true. Um, it is tsawa tsawa gidunda karere tsawa tsawa sen chaku. Uh huh. It is um, it is like hard or very like a diamond. Um, it is stable and it is unimpeded. Oh, that's dorje simba. Si deti dorje thele. Ini sem deke. Ini sem kin tam thele. あまちくぷぐなじんちゃっぺ。ね、パオ。uh, and so then the second part of his name, so in Tibetan Dorje Simba, Simba or Sattva, um, the Sem, which means mind and is also like the Sem and Simchin, which refers to sentient beings, um, is referring to, um, you know, and Sattva like um, means uh, like hero uh, or Dhaka or hero. Uh, and so he is the hero who looks after all sentient beings um, like a mother who um, looks after her only children. Um, and so in this way, this uh, second part of the name embodies or is the meaning of great compassion. Uh, so even in Vajrasapa's name, you have the union of emptiness and great compassion. Um, so he is like the hero of tremendous love, um, great compassion and love uh, for sentient beings. Um, so, so, um, mm -hmm. oh. so what is it? It takes on. It takes so the uh, so then it says, as it says, um, so it's the sadhana of the single mudra. So the next word in Tibetan is, is mudra. Um, and so mudra uh, means the 
the mudra of method and wisdom, the indivisibility of m- method and wisdom, the um, the inseparable union of uh, the male uh, and female enlightened aspects of enlightenment. The um, so the the practice which is um, that. Uh, inseparability of method and wisdom. Um, and so uh, um, that is also then what the, the, the essence of the sadhana, the practice um, that it is uh, generating or realizing um, that indivisibility. Mm-hmm. Um, and so it is really important when uh, it is said, you know, the union of the male and female, um, or the yab and yum. Um, so the the deity um, that is the union of the male and female aspects is um, the meaning, so, so the symbol of the union of method and wisdom. This is the inner meaning always. Um, so if that is misunderstood or it is actually understood to be um, like a union in terms of like ordinary male and female, um, then it is uh, a great misunderstanding. Then it becomes connected with the afflictive emotion of desire. Um, but the, the meaning here is actually the inner meaning um, where the male represents method and the female represents wisdom. Um, so actually now we're on page two. So as it says, the heart of blessings, the lineage uh, supplication of the threefold secret Bindu heart cycle. Um, and so the... Um, the lineage lamas, so there are the many different lineage lamas um, that, but to go into like each of who they are and every name would be difficult. Um, but essentially here, the power um, of the deity, the power of the blessings of the lineage um, is that which has the power to um, pacify the mind of self-grasping and the afflictive emotions uh, to make that which is not um, straight or that which is cro- crooked kind of straight or in alignment. Um, and so to bring about a transformation, it is through the supplication uh, to the lineage lamas that one connects with the blessings and there is this real entering of the blessings that then brings about a, ch- uh, a transformation um, or a change in the mind stream at the, from the outset. Oh, 
Energy mainly this to the body to six. Ah, then do that, Jambo, say at the carriers, you know, so so rank a chin, Yamnesia, Yamnesi, the Yapo, you are Sipala, all a Jambo, Jule, no other, Melam, Sierra, but then the Jambo, the kitchen, the race, dying is in a Jambo, Japson, do say at Lam, Lopale, doya. La Jamro Lare. Rana Jin Sorum Mate Pata, Namba Sanje Bani, Yevasia. Yea, Jamro, Jamro Ton, Yevas. In a Jamro, say at the time, Mangin Dow. Catan Shin Bas, Water Sansen, Sana, is some good manger. Domba Tama, your detail, some of the Domba, your mares. Oh, so that sounds him. Somehow, something don't be dangerous. Any social chin, yammy, see, goes in a season. No, Yamro say at the new catching boys. And ordinate Yamro de Caressina. Ah, dollar control some hard tower some dick garden time, yanty, the jisser team, the tonity, the teen at the sinna, the younger jewelers, and up the new to the rest. <clears throat> and so then um, following the lineage supplication, then you have the refuge, um, which begins on page six. Uh, so whenever engaging in the practice, it's always absolutely crucial that you begin, that you open um, by generating the mind of refuge with the um, prayer of, prayers of refuge, and then also to always close with a dedication. Um, because, uh, and when we go for refuge, it is this um, that ensures that we won't um, be uh, drawn into mistakes mistaken paths that we won't go astray. Um, and so that because that which distinguishes um, between or that which differentiates um, tiritikas or non-Buddhists uh, from Buddhists uh, is the presence uh, of refuge, the presence or absence of refuge. Um, and so the refuge is really the foundation. It is the foundation to all um, levels of the vows. Um, so whether the pratimoksha or vows of individual liberation, bodhisattva vows or vows of secret mantra, um, these are all contingent upon first having the vows of refuge. Um, and all of the practices, the, the foundation Foundation of all levels of practice, um, the the container for practice really is um, refuge, and so that means a refuge um, with a mind of faith, going to refuge in the three jewels and three roots um, by remembering um, the ki their kindness, the kindness of the objects of refuge and all of their enlightened qualities. And when um, that is a part of your refuge, then the blessings can really penetrate. Trade your mind stream. Oh, <laughs> Namo Sidisha uh, Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm.
And so uh, then the words of refuge, for instance, are the very famous words of refuge that uh, are recited everywhere that everyone knows, you know, which, is, which are actually um, the words of, uh, of Atisha. Um, and the, so, you know, in the Buddha, Dharma and Sangha, most excellent, etc. cetera. Uh, but then you also have the, um, you have the, the, specific refuge prayers that begin every sadhana. So each sadhana or text um, often has their particular refuge uh, prayer at the beginning. And so here it is, uh, Namo, to liberate myself and all sentient beings from suffering. I take refuge in the Guru, Vajrasapa, the Three Jewels, the Yidams, the Dakinis, and all the other sources of refuge until awakening is reached. And so the first word here, Namo, um, means homage or actually like literally prostration um so the word uh, prostration in tibetan is chaksa um so chak uh means has many meanings there are many ways this could be explained um but one way to think of it is that um so you know these days um we have uh, like vacuum cleaners uh but in the old days there weren't vacuum cleaners there were just brooms um so brooms would be used you know to sweep the house to clean the house to clean the floor um and so so chop is also the word um, that for broom, um, and tsal is like to um, clear away or to clear, uh, and so it's like clearing away or making clean, making clear uh, with the broom, like sweeping away um, the uh, the the obscurations and defilements and all impurities. Um, so in brief, you know, it is that is what we do when we take refuge when we go to the three jewels for refuge um, and also in particular prostration uh, is the antidote to pride uh, so by clearing away the obscuration of pride then we have humility and respect uh, for all mm -hmm. And, <laughs> um, and so, you know, these days we have vacuum cleaners, which are very powerful. They're more powerful than the broom and they can like suck up anything in their pathway. Um, and so we can think of that at, like that, like, like refuge is like a vacuum cleaner to our body, speech and mind, like just sucking up all of our impurities and defilements, um, clean, cleansing our body, speech and mind. <laughs> if you're not careful, it will suck up like even valuables. <laughs> like sometimes, <laughs> you know, sometimes women's earrings, for instance, will get sucked up, sucked up um, and lost in the vacuum cleaner. Right? Very careful, okay, yours. Very dirty Lama Dodia Semba, there is also Kare in that Sama, Tava Lama Ranga Tondo. The Tava Lama Tala Gogan, the song time to post hand, your girl Lama, song your damn phone candles and control good sound. You could cook, get cook. Aye, Choco, cook in doon. Song time to post hand, dear Maria. Mhm, Terry, Tava Som, the girl Lama, song your damn phone candle. Mm 
Um, and so then as the words <laughs> of the refuge prayer are namo to liberate myself and all sentient beings from suffering, I take refuge in the Guru Vadrasapa, the three jewels, etc. So um, so this is pretty straightforward, you know, to liberate um, all beings and myself from suffering. Um, and the attitude, the time period for which one is going for refuge is you can think from today until attaining awakening um, or until attaining Buddhahood, I take refuge in the Guru Vadrasapa, uh, the embodiment of the three jewels. Um, because if we just think, you know, even just for the duration of this life, then it falls into the category of the lesser vehicle refuge. So our aspiration should be one that is vast, meaning from now until Buddhahood. Um, and then, as it says, the Guru Vadrasapa, so you are thinking of Vadrasapa and any deity really that you practice, also as being no different, you know, or being the same in essence as your root guru. Um, and the root guru embodies uh, the three roots, the three jewels, <laughs> and the three kayas. The guru's body is the sangha, um, the guru's speech is the dharma, the guru's mind is the buddha. Um, and likewise, the guru's body um, is the lama, his speech is the yidam, and his mind is the dakini. Uh, likewise, the guru's body is the nirmanakaya, his speech is the sambhogakaya, and his mind is the dharmakaya. And so all of these um, are subsumed into the one of the dharmakaya. Hola. ま、ドゥ、ゆだんかんでそうだ。ジャプスンチェ、シデジャプスンチェアでなたさま、たんじきんかんでよねジャプチョホ。ロゴトナカララジャプスンド。ナタソナエンチダミンナジャプスンド。
어, 대솔라야, 도보치, 침보차야, 체드, 전에, 어, 샘티들이, 샘티, 델라, 단중, 멤버 샘티, 단, 멤버 샘티, 단, 단중, 유부 샘티, 멤버 단, 유부, 예, 요. Um, and so uh, then we generate the mind of awakening or bodhicitta. And so this is to reverse, you know, any kind of um, inferior motivations of, you know, any tendency to stray in the, to the motivation of the lesser vehicle. Um, and then in order to, um, to avoid that, we generate the mind of awakening bodhicitta. And in generating bodhicitta, there are mainly the two types, the aspirational bodhicitta and the application bodhicitta. And so the words of this prayer um, begin with just as the Buddhas did in the past, I will strive for the highest purpose of all beings. Um, so the example that is given here is this um, like noble example of all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas of the past um, who uh, strove to accomplish, you know, for um uh, exclusively the welfare and benefit of sentient beings. And so following in their footsteps, following their example, I too will do the same. Madovana, Dar Madovana, Uma Simba, Sid Nintuta, Ranger, the Gopalana, Ned, because not wake up. What in this Sanjay Kumanata? Gogan is in Gopalana, Ned, there are not the yes, it is. So so then you have these words, uh, I will release those not released. Uh, so that what this is referring to, the being, um, those beings who are not released, I shall release. So um, it is referring to those who are caught in the three lower realms, who are not released from the suffering of the three lower realms of hell, um, hungry ghosts, and uh, animals. I will bring them to the established them in the um, states of the higher realms. Um, so I will release those who have not been released, um, leading them out of the lower realms and into the three higher realms. And then I will liberate uh, those who are not liberated, or I will um, the free the unfree, um, is referring to, you know, beings who are in the three higher realms of God's um, of humans, um, uh, demigods and gods. Um, so they are still not liberated. And so I will liberate them from um, the three higher realms as well. So from samsara altogether. Um, and then I will give breath to the breath breathless is referring to um, those who have become liberated, but remain in the cessation of the state of cessation, which is the um, limited um, liberation of Shravakas and Prateka Buddhas um, who have not yet fully awakened to complete Buddhahood. So I will give breath um, to, to them, um, bringing them um, to the state of uh, complete awakening. <laughs> Mm 
Tati Gupa Chieto in Gugia Las in Donam de Teme by Yer, Donam, Dua Senti Nams, Devatan Dinduk, Jambang in Yamisigain, Dungatan Tandu, Hingi in Yamisigain, in Detit and Mandarbek, Gawatan in Yamisigain, not Tamati Papa de Totanion Aretos, in Yerin Chadan in that of Tanyum Chimbola in Eva Shows in the Revatan, Member Olega. Um, and so then as it says, um, and bring all beings to nirvana, may all beings be happy and free from suffering. May they achieve exalted bliss and rest in equanimity. Uh, so here then we have the cultivation of the four immeasurables, which, is, which are the trainings of the aspiration bodhicitta. Um, so first, as we say, um, may all beings be happy. So the wish uh, for all beings to have happiness is love. And may they be free from suffering. The wish for all beings to be free from suffering is compassion. Um, may they achieve exalted bliss. Um, or may the wish for beings to never be separated um, from, from happiness uh, is joy. Uh, and may they rest in equanimity. So then um, equanimity is that um, great expanse that is uh, free from attachment and aversion. Uh, and so in this way, then we recite the um, aspirations of the four measurables. Oh, Rowan and Dutan, Roa, yes, and at in a Yaran Rogain, Sichuranso, Tadexi, number two that taught that to choose what is here. I must say, Rogo is Masona people, not to Tomar, Dodge being Gigonadi, Neko Caragon, the Pandy, you perhaps a parodus in bars, take the tumble. Target, Tadrek, Nipat, Musun Doya, Nitella parodus in Batola, Jimbatongo, Jimson, Zuba Gumsum, and the Northern and Jupal has a parodus in bars. Uh, and so then there are the um the 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 application of the six perfections so the application bodhicitta um is the practice of the six perfection perfections and as is said um the difference between these two aspiration and application is um like the difference between making a plan wishing to go somewhere and then actually taking the steps to travel there so it's like for instance when we give rise to the wish to say travel to India um, and then we have this objective you know where I'm going to travel to India we make all of the plans um, and then we actually you know get on the airplane and we go um, we go to wherever you know on pilgrimage say to to Bodhgaya um, or wherever else it is that we intend to go um, so this is what we're doing when practicing the six perfections um, engaging in generosity um, practicing ethical discipline, um, cultivating patience, and so on. Um, so it is um, in through the practice of the six perfections that we're engaging in application bodhicitta. Okay. Okay. Um, so then we have the um, six or the seven branches, which are the antidotes to the seven afflicted mind states. Uh, and so those are the traditional seven branches of um, according to sutra, um, which are prostrating, uh, offering, uh, confessing, rejoicing, beseeching, and praying. Um, Dini DJ la gare la in? La. Gare J la gare. Pecha nam jung a tsun dolan ti chan sarvatan chujin shabatan jiso yaran kurgen suwa nunga yuwa yung rak. Mm-hmm. 
So, so the ordinary seven branches are those branches that we're familiar with, you know, that is, um, that it was just mentioned. And then also, um, with each sadhana, um, there often appear the seven branches, um, you know, with the, in their unique composition, you know, according to whatever sadhana it is that you're practicing. Um, and so here he will explain as uh, connected with how the seven branches appear here. Okay,你把毛吧,打打。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。
ลอกตาคิมีโบนะนี่ก็ยังเงินมันดาวาเดมาอุติสตาปะยุโรจีสกายสินะลามาเกวิชินิตาชินโบตะนะมินาลอกตาคิเตซุซะเอ่อตะน
Um, please turn the all-encompassing and partial wheel of Dharma. So fifth is uh, the request, you know, um, for the ongoing turning of the wheel of Dharma, um, the wheel of the Buddha's uh, teachings of both the definitive, um, the, the expedient or provisional meaning and the definitive meaning. Um, so that is the supplication to turn the wheel of Dharma. Uh, and then it says, please remain throughout the three times and never leave to enter nirvana. Um, um, so, uh, fifth, uh, six is, um, and, oh, and so that turning the request to turn the wheel of Dharma is the antidote to the afflictive emotion of ignorance. Um, six is the antidote to the affliction of wrong view. Um, so it is asking the enlightened ones not to pass into nirvana, into pari nirvana, but to remain for the benefit of sentient beings. Um, if there are no spiritual teachers, then there's no one to guide one on the path uh, to awakening. Oh, not pari nirvana. Nirvana. Okay, so, um, so not pari nirvana, but nirvana. Um, so not pass into nirvana, but to remain for the benefit uh, of being. Nirvana. So into uh, pari nirvana. Yes. The it not then does love song tempo. Yeah. Um. So not to pass into pari nirvana, which is the um the antidote to wrong view um if there are no no spiritual teachers and there is no one to um explain the truth of karma cause and effect and so and show the way to awakening so it is the um it is the antidote to wrong view and then finally is um dedication so as it says um, devoid of thought, I dedicate all virtue to all sentient beings as infinite as space itself. Uh, so this is the um, antidote to Garegi um, Nimba. Uh, oh yeah so that is the antidote to self-grasping and desire uh, and so when making the dedication one should make the dedication from within the state that is uh, free from the three spheres of of referentiality um, so the non-conceptual three spheres being um, meaning that there's no concept of the one who is dedicating that which is being dedicated or um, you know the true uh, entity or some true existence of those to whom we are dedicating. So it is uh, the dedication is made from within the state that is um, uh, free from refer referentiality regarding the three spheres. Mm -hmm. And so uh, with that, then we can close and we were right on time. Now we're a little bit before, but, um, but Lama La finished right at the right on time. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Uh, so we make then the aspiration that um, uh, may we all attain the state of Vajrasapa. Um, so placing all sentient beings, uh, may all sentient beings be placed in um, the, the state of Vajrasapa. So that is the aspiration that is the final dedication. Okay, now we do Lord Jekinson's dedication only in English. Page 18. Glorious, holy, venerable, precious, kind, root, lineage, gurus, divine assembly of Yidams, assemblies of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, heroes and heroines, Yokini and her assembly of Dakinis. All of you dwelling in the ten directions, please heed me. By the power of this vast root of virtue, may I benefit all beings through my body, speech, and mind. May the afflictions of attachment, hatred, ignorance, pride, and jealousy arise in my mind. May thoughts of fame, reputation, respect, honor, and concern for this life not arise for even a moment. May my mind stream be moistened by loving kindness, compassion, and bodhicitta. May I become a spiritual master with good qualities equal to the infinity of space. May I gain the supreme attainment of Mahamudra in this very life. At the moment of death, may I not experience the suffering of being abruptly severed from this life. May I not suffer a terrible death. May I not die confused by wrong views. May I not experience an untimely death. May I die joyfully and happily in the great luminosity of the mind itself. 
and in the crystal clarity of Dharmata. May I, in any case, gain the supreme attainment of Maha Mudra at the time of death or in the bardo. Uh, thanks, Subhumna, and uh, thanks everyone joining us. So tomorrow, continue the teaching. So this afternoon, we have a practice. Also, another thing is uh, if anyone uh, like to offering uh, money to Jubun uh, Nampushi and uh, Abulama, please contact uh, to Jukong uh, Seattle or on we chat. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Good day. Sheshini, come on. And, and, and. Because I'm, because I'm ham, Amitava. <laughs> and the Baila. Uh, this is Mongolish. Thank you. See you afternoon. Come on, right? Yeah. We also need a thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful chance. Dankeschön, German. Dankeschön. I'm jealous with the Lama Abu.